Time now to take a look at all things insurance and we come closer to home. We are now joined at the desk by Vivian Pearson, who's the acting chief executive of the South African Insurance Association, to take a look at the regulatory environment and its impact on doing business in insurance in South Africa. Such a pleasure to have you with us today, Vivian. Thank you for having me. Maybe if you can paint a picture for us regarding the regulatory landscape in South Africa when it comes to insurance, uh, how do we fare? Well, um, I think we are in a challenging time, the insurance industry, but it's also a very interesting time. And I think that the, the end goals um, of the regulatory environment currently um, is something that we should support um, because it speaks to financial soundness and it speaks to treating customers fairly and, and good market conduct. Um, having said all of that, uh, we have had quite a, a, a few pieces of, of, of um, regulation and um, legislation um, issued recently and um, some of those are um, the financial sector um, regulatory um, bill as well as the insurance um, bill. Um, the insurance bill is there to replace certain parts of the existing acts. Um, and the financial sector regulatory bill um, or regulation bill um, is there to start introducing and to move towards a Twin Peaks model of um, regulation. You've obviously interacted with several of these insurance players in the country. Uh, uh, what's their feeling and how are they responding uh, to this regulatory change? I think the feeling is uh, one of working hand in hand with the authorities, making sure that there aren't any unintended consequences. And I think that the industry does realize and recognize that the end goal will be a good one. But as I said, there are some challenges in terms of you know, um, the time and resources spent on, uh, on going through the process and so on. I do believe, though, that we understand that it's worthwhile. You've the mentioned the word end goal uh, twice in our conversation. Maybe if you can uh, uh, allude to what these goals and objectives actually are in the end uh, and the benefits to the consumer, the benefits to the operating environment, what does it entail? Yes, I think that um, our authorities have in mind um, four goals, four objectives. Um, one of them is um, to improve market conduct and to um, encourage, you know, um, increasingly encourage uh, the treatment of um, customers. Um, in terms of fairness. So that has a clear um, benefit for consumers out there. And, and, and I think also for the insurance industry, um, because as much as we are trying to treat cus customers fairly, um, it is always good to, uh, you know, to be reminded of that constantly and to work in within that framework. Mm -hmm. um, it is good business um, in the end. Um, the other leg of it is to have a sound and stable um, financial sector. And I think that everybody uh, you know, can understand the benefit of that. Um, there are also two other goals, one of which is um, to combat financial crime, um, as well as to increase access to financial services um, in South Africa for all South Africans. And as I said before, I think that those are common goals. Um, the challenges are only around uh, adapting, uh, finding the time and the resources to adapt and, mm. and, and so on. Um, and of course, there will be a cost to the regulation as well. So that will, in the end, uh, make a difference as well um, regarding consumers. But um, overall, it should be a worthwhile exercise. If we sidestep for a moment, uh, does this uh, make the uh, investment landscape for outside insurance companies wanting to come into the local market uh, slightly more attractive, given the fact that there are cut and dry uh, re uh, regulatory frameworks available? Yes, I think that's what one wants from regulation. Um, things must be clear and, and everybody must know, you know, uh, where they stand. And I think that that will certainly add an attraction. Mm -hmm. Yes. If we delve into two of the uh, key areas that you mentioned, treating customers fairly, which a lot of consumers have become aware of uh, with regard to uh, exposure to information and actually understanding it quite well, as well as the Twin Peaks model. Maybe if you can uh, delve into the Twin Peaks model just as a reminder and a refresher for some of our viewers today yeah. as to how this will be rolled out. Okay, the Twin Peaks model is really uh, a move towards establishing two different, uh, two separate entities um, regulating the financial sector. The one would look after prudential um, uh, regulation and the other one would look after market conduct regulation. So the prudential regulation speaks to the financial stability um, of the sector um, and the market conduct one is where the treating customers fairly um, will fall into that category. Um, so treating customers fairly is part of a market conduct regulatory framework that I think that um, in the end will benefit everybody in, in you know the country, the consumers, the insurance industry and so on. 
Well, we look forward to uh, getting a positive update with regard to these regulatory frameworks, uh, frameworks excuse me, and how it is adopted by companies as well as consumers. Just on consumers to close off with very quickly, uh, treating customers fairly. Has the reception as well been fairly positive here? Yes, I think that um, our members, the insurance companies, have really responded well. And those um, frameworks are, the, you know, the, the systems and, and the processes are all in place. Um, and, and I think that we can also see an improvement in terms of um, complaints um, in the way that this dealt with at the Ombudsman's office where um, very, you know, uh, not many complaints uh, or not many um, decisions by insurers um, are overturned um, by the Ombudsman's office, um, speaking to how they are dealing with claims in, uh, in a fair manner. So I think it's all positive. Vivian, thank you so much for your time. Great.